It is March 16th, 2020, and uh, it's just a few days into some serious social distancing that's happening because of the coronavirus. And I wanted to make a little video because I think it's challenging for us as Catholics to have a spirituality when we can't go to Mass. Um, I'm in the state of Colorado, and all three of the dioceses here have canceled Mass until at least March 31st. So we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, God works through all things, and even evil things He can bring good out of. Uh, there's a quote in Genesis 50, 20 about that. And I just thought I would make this video just to encourage us, especially as fathers who have children, uh, to really step up during this time. Um, I think there's a quote by St. Augustine saying that every father is the bishop of his home. And he called the Christian family a domestic church. And so now's the time for us to really like, step into that role, grow into that role. And um, I think of another quote by G.K. Chesterton where he said, you know, anything worth doing is worth doing badly. You know, meaning uh, whatever you're going to set your mind to, if it's really worth doing it, then even a, a poor attempt is a step in the right direction. So I really believe that. So I wanted to make a, a quick video to encourage you um, to take time to pray with your families, uh, especially on Sundays. Uh, to, you know, if you can't go to Mass, to really set some time aside and read the Word as a family. And so um, there's a few practical tips for, for that uh, that I've just learned for myself this past Sunday trying to do it uh, in my own home. And one is just have a plan and look it over. Um, I'll put a link in this video to uh, a document that will show you that, like a liturgy of the word with spiritual communion uh, to give you a format that you as the father of your home can step into that role as the priest um, and, and lead your children and your wife uh, in, um, in liturgy. Um, and if you have children, really meet them where they're at. My kids are ages 6, 4, and 1. And so uh, the level of engagement and, you know, uh, discipline or maybe even reverence is not the same that you're going to expect out of mass that happens in a beautiful cathedral uh, when you're in your own home and uh, they're right there with you and mom and dad sitting on your laps. But in another sense, that really is helpful for them to see that uh, you don't just pray because it's some sort of herd mentality activity that you do, but you really care and you want to know God and you want your children to know God. Uh, so yeah, meet your children where they're at. Remember that the goal is to teach, uh, to reach their hearts, right? Uh, to facilitate encounter between them and Jesus, their creator, who knows them, who loves them, and who's coming after them uh, with his love to know them and have a relationship with them. So to do this, we've got to be positive. We've got to be patient with them. Um, and again, meet them where they're at. So uh, last tip is let your failures and your frustrations with trying to step into this role uh, fuel your learning and your prayer. Um, you know, if I were the enemy of, of anybody's soul, I think what I would do with their, uh, you know, frustrations and failures, any sort of bad experiences, I'd use that to convince them just to quit and give up and stop trying to do this, you know, religious thing. It's just awkward and, and difficult and it's never going to get better. Um, but we know that's not the case. Just like going to the gym, the first day you go there, it's, it, you, you get beat up. Uh, but the second day is easier and the third day is e easier. And eventually you get to that point where you just love going to the gym and you feel high going to keep your body in shape. It's the same way with prayer. Uh, the first time may feel awkward, but that doesn't mean every time after that it's going to feel that way. So don't get discouraged at the first sign of, of difficulty. Um, St. Teresa of Avila, who was uh, you know, a great mystic, and she's even a doctor uh, in the church, she was asked, you know, what's the secret of mastering prayer? And she responded that the, the secret was perseverance. Because with perseverance, you can overcome all, over, all, all other obstacles. So we have to have perseverance and have that positive, joyful attitude and just realize we're under the grace of God uh, to be gentle on ourselves and to keep learning. So uh, in conclusion, you know, God is with you and he wants a relationship with you uh, no matter where you are, uh, no matter what's going on in the world and how difficult it is. So now is the time to learn and experience that and to realize that you have access to God right where you are in your home. Um, and in lieu of uh, being able to experience him in the real presence of the Eucharist, uh, for us to really be reaching out to him and opening ourselves to him and opening our, our family to him uh, to receive his spirit uh, through his word and through that time of private prayer that you can have with your family. I really think it has the potential to be more impactful than even if we didn't have this disruption, um, you know, because the grace of God just works that way. He brings beautiful things out of, out of tough, tough circumstances. So be encouraged and uh, uh, go for it, fathers. Be the bishop of your home.